Several state lawmakers were in Homewood this morning. They were there to hold a hearing on escalating gun violence, particularly related to assault style weapons. Rick Dayton reports some of the testimony was very technical, but other messages were quite emotional. So, I mean, we live with this daily, not just my family, but you know, all of us in this world and you know, in our districts live with the violence that's been going on. Deborah Short's son, James, was killed by bullets fired from an AK-47. She was one of 10 people to testify at a policy committee hearing in Homewood entitled Ending Assault Weapons Violence. So the energy released by the AR-15 is usually 10 times, for example, the energy that is released by a standard long rifle. The event was organized by 24th District Representative Ed Ganey, who also has sponsored a bill to ban assault style weapons. When you hear Dr. Carl Williams talk about what happens when a semi automatic hits the body, I want you to understand the impact not only on that person, but on their family, on their community. That makes a difference. Dr. Williams was one of three medical professionals to testify. The gunshot wounds that we've seen over the 20 years of training, fellowship, and practice. Um, I am seeing a significant increase in the types of injuries that I'm seeing, and part of that is related to the change in weapons that people are using. This isn't about taking away people that want to go hunting. It's not about taking away weapons uh, for people that want to arm themselves. Instead, it's about a group of people who want the conversation to continue in Pittsburgh and beyond. Let's stop all this and thank you all for figuring it out. It may take a while, but thank you. Rick Dayton, 